in this video, I wanted to cover a few Refwear harnesses, um, which ones I of the three that I like the best and why. So I have the Refwear Webmaster harness, Flagline harness, and Front Range harness. So my absolute favorite harness is this Webmaster harness. I have been using this harness for about eight years now and I've never actually had to replace one due to any kind of rips or like malfunction, nothing like that. It's actually lasted. Um, the only time I've gotten new ones is just because maybe I wanted one of the new colors um, or I needed obviously a new one for like a new dog. Um, the other harness that I really like is the flag line. This is probably my second choice to the Webmaster. Now, the reason why the Webmaster is my favorite is simply because I've used it the longest. Um, I haven't used the other ones quite as long. Clearly the durability is there, the quality is there. My most favorite thing about it is that there's a handle as well as two bottom straps. So these two straps will go underneath the chest and the stomach. Um, I like that for the security that the dog is gonna have a really hard time trying to get out of it. There are some dogs that are really good escape artists. I've seen a dog that has easily slipped out of one of these front range harnesses. So this gives me just added security. I, all of my harnesses, I like that they're a Y shape in the front. Um, this is just so that it prevents um, any kind of restricted movements. Um, with a harness, I want my dog to have full range of movements that aren't um, going to be any kind of issue on, here Luke on their front here. I want full range of motion, so I don't want anything going across. I want that Y. Good boy. Um, so that's just very simply why I'm a diehard fan to the Webmaster. But then, good boy. But then when the flag line came out, I was really interested in it because same thing, it has two straps for under the belly. It still has a handle. It's less fabric, it's lighter, but the quality is still there. Now, the reason why this might be ideal for some people is that all you have to do is put it over the head of the dog and then you can um, clip it onto the like chest and the stomach, which is really great if you have dogs that have maybe any kind of arthritis, maybe they're really sensitive to their paws being touched, so you don't actually have to, with the webmaster, lift a leg to go through. This one's also nice because on this belly part, there's this amount of fabric, which is gonna be more comforting for the dog if you do need to use the handle to lift them. Whereas the Webmaster, there isn't as much support on that chest stomach area. Now, the Webmaster I use basically for everything. And like I said, I this is my second choice. So a lot of the times, like for example, Kona will, will wear this one and the rest of my dogs will wear this one. Kona will wear this one a lot of the time simply because she is very sensitive to her feet being touched. Um, she's very sensitive just to being touched in general. Now moving on to the front range harness. This one, um, it's just a nice quick and go harness. You just put it over the head and then you're just clipping just to that, that one part on the chest. I usually grab this and go if I'm going to be biking with my dogs. That's kind of the only time I've really used this one. Um, and like I said, I've known dogs to be able to slip out of this, uh, which might not be a problem for you and your dog, but just as a heads up for this one. I also find that this one's really thick in the chest area, which for like my dog Callie, it's almost too thick. That's a little bit restricting for her. That's just too much fabric and material for her chest. Um, whereas these ones are a little bit skinnier and obviously the Webmaster being the, the skinniest one on the chest part here. Now this one, the front range comes in the most colors. I believe there's somewhere around eight colors. So there's a lot to choose from. Um, in the flag line harness, there's three colors to choose from, and I believe right now as well in the Webmaster, there's three colors to choose from. Now, depending when you're watching this video and what season it is, they might change up the colors. Um, so that's the only reason why I'm not really mentioning what specific colors there are, because that might change or what might have been in a past. Like this one I think is still a current color, but it might have also been an, a past seasoned color. Um, all of them will have the D-ring here. And these two, the flag line and the front range, 
have a front clip here so you can make it a front clip harness. I don't personally use front clips for front clip harnesses. Um, for me, the purpose of a harness is so that my dog can pull or um, basically to attach like their tags and just have ease of when we're hiking so that if I need to, I can grab the handle and help them up. Um, or even helping them in and out of vehicles. That's another really useful thing for the handles. So yeah, I just wanted to quickly show these are the three used harnesses that I use for rough wear. And again, my all time favorite, been using it for so long now is the Webmaster harness. So now I'm just going to quickly put this on loot and you can just kind of get a quick see of like what it looks like on the dog. Good boy. All right, so with the front range, like I said, you're just putting it over the head and then taking that chest piece through the front legs and then just a quick clip and then you can tighten it. Here, this needs to be a bit tighter. We'd, I'd want this to be a little bit more like this so it's more snug here. This is actually Ruger's harness, so that's why this one isn't adjusted to him, but this is what it would look like. And you can see not a whole lot of coverage um let's try and bring him to the side here Come here, so you can see here it's quite thick even for him on the chest part here but again i like that it's a y shape good boy all right so now the flag line again dog puts their head through Ready? Good boy. And again, this piece goes underneath the chest and we have two points where we're, we're gonna um, attach it, which this might not actually fit him because again, it's Kona's, but I'm gonna just kind of give you a feel for what it's gonna look like. So again, two clipping points. So I like that and handle on the top. Again, it's the Y shape at the front, which I'll move him here to show you. Come here, bud. Sit. Good. Keep sit. Oh. Excellent. Okay, so sorry I don't have it clipped here because it's sized for Kona, but as you can see, Y shape, a little bit thinner here and a little bit more coverage. I know you can't quite see that it's going down his belly there, but a little bit more coverage here. So that can be a little bit more ideal for dogs that maybe are a little bit more sensitive underneath. They need a little bit more comfort and support if you are going to use the handle to help them in and out of the vehicle, or if you're on hiking, you need to help them over any kind of terrain. Good boy. Okay, lastly, and my favorite, as I've mentioned, Webmaster Harness. So again, over the head and let me just try and bring him a little bit closer here. Right here, bud. There we go. Okay, so you can see here, I'm gonna have to bring his foot through. So some dogs might not like that. And again, two straps that go underneath the belly. We got the handle here, more coverage here. I like more coverage on this harness at the top here because of any kind of abrasions that could happen if your dog is running in the forest, if there's bushes, any kind of abrasions that can happen here at the chest. So I like this added protection here. It's not much, but it is still something. And then again, I like that there's two straps and like I mentioned, there's not as much um, padding or material on the chest here. You can see it's just a strap. My dogs haven't been bothered by it. Um, and so that hasn't been an issue for me personally. Um, and like I said, most of my dogs will wear this Webmaster harness, but for Kona, I do like the flag line simply because I don't have to lift her foot through just because she's a bit um, sensitive to touch. So just to kind of give you guys that idea. So hopefully this was helpful. Um, if you have any questions or comments, just leave them down below.